Breaking news today, schools across the state will likely be closed for the remainder of the school year. Yeah, thanks for joining us here on air and also streaming on the News 4 app. Governor Lee made that announcement just within the last hour, and you saw it live here on News 4. Ryan Breslin joins us now live with more on what this means for students. Well, Lauren, this is a recommendation, so it means it is up to school districts to decide whether or not they do want to close. But the governor says that he is confident that all schools will remain closed for the remainder of the school year. Now, we've learned from the commissioner of the Department of Education that they will plan on opening schools in the next school year and students will enter their new grades. A COVID-19 child well-being task force is being developed for these students who have been out of school since March to check on children and make sure they're safe. The commissioner says they'll rely on community groups like nonprofits, churches, and even local law enforcement to bring meals, instructional lessons, and work packets to students. The governor says they'll work with the legislature to determine recommendations on calendar days for when schools should open in the fall. And this is a little bit of what Governor Lee had to say about closing schools. Schools and teachers are often the front lines in um, caring for students, particularly those that are in difficult situations, those, are, those that are most vulnerable, those that are most at risk. And as a state, it will take all of us to ensure the safety and the well-being well of our children. And Governor Lee says that he also spoke with Education uh, Secretary Betsy DeVos today about funding courses across the state. Lauren and Tracy. All right.